so here what we'll cover uh, our course basically our course we are going to give training on so here please code java uh, java 8 features and spring boot microservices microservices and json xml and mini project i will give two mini projects one is for without microservices one for with microservices okay apart from that what i will cover extra for you so here i will discuss interview questions interview questions with answers in the classroom itself and then resume preparation if you want i will prepare the resume preparation resume preparation and suppose suppose today kadar attend one interview so kadar will capture the interview questions we will discuss in the classroom itself okay so interview questions resume preparation and then and then for spring boot microservices i prepared one interview guide 150 questions plus for spring boot microservices i will hand out this guide as well to you apart from that daily i will type the notes in front of you daily notes daily notes i will give you as well as video recording video recording what is highlights with me so i will type the code in front of you with the practical as well as theory that is the highlight with me and in the classroom itself i will ask the question and then i will give the answer so our syllabus is divided into based on interview questions so syllabus is divided into interview questions i will ask the question based on the question i will answer in the classroom itself that is our expertise this is overall we will discuss uh, what is our curriculum will define to people so if you want i will i will i will introduce angular as well angular little bit basics if you want i will cover angular little bit basics as well everyone okay hello if you want i will cover angular basics as well don't worry basics so these are the topics we are going to cover in two and a half months course okay not only this suppose suresh today i enter, attend one interview can you please introduce that question in the classroom yes definitely definitely i will introduce that question okay any questions no right up to this any questions no yes okay now i am going to start in introducing our uh, java so first of all how to save how to save notepad can anyone guess how to save notepad how to save notepad suppose i want to save this notepad ha huh? how to save notepad hello hmm some name sorry some name dot txt right hello yeah text format yeah dot txt extension right yes sir no so here meaning is so here we will save notepad with dot txt extension super similarly how to save word document how to save word document huh with dot doc right doc format similarly every program we will save java program with dot java extension any name before the dot you can give any name marshall should extension is dot java that's it any questions up to this any questions no right hello yeah now now what is program next question is what is program ha huh. can anyone guess what is the program suppose i want to perform addition of two numbers one minute ha huh? yeah guys please respond based on your response will provide ha huh, program generally suppose i want to add two numbers suppose i want to uh, subtract two numbers so here set of instructions given to mission mission at your laptop in order to perform operation is called as program 
is called as program. So here we can design the programs. We can design programs by using languages. What the language example? Java, .NET, PHP like this. Okay, now again, program divided into two types. Program is divided into two types. High level program and low level program. Program divided into how many types? Two, two types. types. Yeah, high level program. So generally, we are all developers. So here, developer will design high level language by using Java. Huh? Java provided. Java provided. Provided. Huh? Java provided technologies, right? Technologies or some keywords or anything. One minute. By use by using Java. So here means developer understand understand high level program. But your laptop or your mission mission cannot understand high level program. So what are the examples? Java, .NET, or PHP are examples for high level programming. So here who will design high level programming? Developer will design the high level programming. So means developer can understand high level programming, but mission cannot understand high level program. But, but if your target is suppose you'll design the program, that program is understandable by the mission. Yes or no, we'll do it. That is called low level program. Next one, what is low level program? So here developer cannot understand low level programming developer cannot understand low level programming who will understand ha huh. mission can understand understand low level programming so here developer understand high level programming but mission understand low level programming as a developer we will convert high level high level programming into low level why because in order to understand the program by the mission so here, the process of converting high level program, high level program into low level program is called as compilation. What is this? Compilation. So here we will perform, we will perform compilation by using one command Java C. So generally we will guard we will guard this command. We got Java C command after installation of Java in your mission. That's it. Java C stands for Java compiler. Java compiler. Any questions up to this? Guys, any questions? Any questions? Hello? Any questions? No? So low level programming is ready. So low level program understand by the mission, right? So low level program understand by the mission. But what is our target? Next target is we will give low level program as input to the mission, which is called execution. Next phase is execution. So here, the process of the process of giving low level oh sorry low level program as input to your mission or laptop where we'll install java mission is called as execution so here general we will perform execution we will perform execution by using one command 
Java command. Command. How to get this command? So we will get the command automatically after installing of Java in your mission. How to install? I will show you coming sessions. So here we will we got Java command after installation of in your mission. So this is programming basically divided into two types. If you want, I will I will give overall idea. Now observe here. So here, and then low level pro is hand over to your mission as input to. So finally, our mission gives some output output to end user. End user. So now, yeah. So now observe here, developer. This guy is called developer. This guy is called developer. Developer. Developer will design high level language by using java.net. So last session just we started uh, what is variable and variables and rules and regulations. Again, today just I will give brief idea variable. So here variable is uh, just like container. which holds single value, right? It will store variable will store single value. So here we can define variable by using data type. So here, how to define the variable, please observe here, variable declaration. So here, data type and then variable name data type and variable name any questions so here what is data type that is your question what is data type so here observe data types oh sorry data type data type will restrict the data which is going to store in variable okay so basically java guys released data types data types so here by using data types by using data types we can define variable okay so basically data types are divided into two types uh, data types are divided into two types uh, primitive data type and non primitive data type or this is one more name user defined data type this is one more name so already yesterday i draw the diagram i will use the diagram yeah observe are you able to see my screen right yes data type is divided into two types primitive non-primitive so primitive total eight data types are there byte short int long float double care boolean don't worry what is this i will explain slowly non primitives are user defined nothing but all the classes that may be predefined or user defined comes under non primitive we'll discuss this one later just assume what is data type data type purpose is to define the variable and it will restrict the data which is going to store in a variable total eight data types are there one by one now i will discuss any questions here any questions 
Hello? No, sir. Yeah. No, now, so this is the syntax, variable syntax. Now, example, uh, int imply number. So here, E and O is variable name uh, of type, type nothing but data type, int. So basically, int will hold, uh, hold numeric values. Uh, numeric values nothing but 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, like this. Okay, all the numeric values. Clear or any questions? Any questions? No, right? Now, char ch. So here, ch is a variable of type char. So here, what is the char data type? Single character. So here, char data type will handle single character. Say how many characters it will handle? Hello? How many characters? Single character. So single character should place inside single quote. Should placed inside single quote. That's it. Okay. So what is this? I will explain. Don't worry. Now. String yes. Huh. Can anyone? What is yes? Huh. What is yes? Is a variable name of type string. String, right? Hmm. So what is string? So my name is Babu. My name is Babu. Babu nothing but how many characters? B A B four characters. Group of characters placed inside double quotes single character place in single quote group of characters place inside double quotes be remember okay so now string string data type will handle uh, will handle hmm, group of characters any questions now i will give one more boolean boolean b huh. what is b b is variable name of type uh, boolean so here boolean will handle either true or false only true or false apart from that nothing will be stored so now basically this is the data type this is the variable any questions up to this any questions no. no, right? Now, how to assign the value? So first here, this is the variable definition. Now, next one is variable declaration and initialization. And initialization. So initialization is nothing but, so here, assigning the value. Initialization is nothing but assigning the value. So we can assign the value to the variable by using equal operator. So here, as initialization is nothing but, is nothing but uh, assign value to the variable at very first time by using assignment operator. Which operator? Which operator? Assignment operator. Any questions? Any questions? No, right? Now observe. So up to this, this is called what? Variable? Huh. Variable? Variable. Definition, right? Variable declaration, definition, nothing but. Here we'll define the variable by using data type. This is variable definition. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. No, right? Now I am going to assign the value. Huh. Now, can anyone guess? 100 uh, is a value uh, assigned to variable called uh, en right? of type int. Now, clear? Clear, guys? Please respond. 
yes sir yeah yes, sir. second one is char ch is equal to always character hand a single character single character should placed inside the double quotes so here a is a value assigned to ch of type char now next one ah so here double quotes suppose i will use i will use uh, navin so this is the group of characters generally group of characters placed inside the double quotes inside the double quotes and this is the value assigned this is the assigned to the variable called as of type string any questions up to this no now similarly no. boolean b is equal to true it will handle boolean always boolean handle either true or false true is a value assigned to the b of type boolean now clear guys what is variable how to define declare the variable or how to define the variable and how to assign the value any questions no no right now i will show you practical example don't try to understand how to create the variables and, and i will see you. so now observe don't today session don't try to understand what is this all the stuff so now public static void main don't try to understand this all the nonsense later sessions you can understand easily yeah now observe ah uh, employee number equal to 100 so here 100 is a value of type sorry 100 is a value assigned to the variable called eno of type integer any questions any no. questions now string employee name ah uh, navin ah uh, can anyone guess can anyone guess ah uh, please respond anyone so here navin is a value assigned to the variable called e name of type string okay similarly boolean is employed so here true true is a value stored in a variable called is employed of type boolean now clear guys how to define the variable and how to assign the value any questions so don't try to understand this part i will explain line by line i will inject one by one don't worry your target is up to this only okay any questions up to this no right now no, understand this line system dot out dot println what is system what is out what is printl i will explain later session just this line purpose is to display to display some output to end user so here this line purpose is if you want i will note down here is used to display some output to end user yeah any questions any questions no sir no so don't try to understand today itself this line purpose is just to display some information to end user now i want to display eno e name and then ha uh, is employed or not so later sessions we will use ids first initially we will practice with notepad yeah so our target is up to this part only you are able to understand remaining leave it any questions any questions no, no sir yeah now take this name take this name copy with this program so at least can anyone read can anyone read this one can anyone read this one class custom on open brace public static when at least you are able to read it right yes sir so this is high level language but mission cannot understand high level language now one minute so don't worry i will provide videos as well 6 4 22 One minute. Huh? This is your previous U uh, U S batch. Yeah.
customer dot java so must and should any program in the java save with dot java extension suppose how to save notepad dot txt how to save document dot doc similarly java program save with dot java extension click on okay so but this is the high level language developer only understand high level language but mission cannot understand in order to understand by the mission we will convert this high level language into ha huh, low level language that is called compilation so how first step one how to compile it java c your c. program name java c nothing but java compiler to convert high level language into low level language we will use one command java c dot your high level program it will generate one low level program now observe i will try to open can anyone read it can anyone read it can anyone no, no. sir no this is low level language low level language understand by the mission only once low level language is available we will give low level language an input to your mission how to give it by using one command java command java space customer this is the dot class file name click on enter yeah now please observe you are able to display the data right yes or no yes yes yeah any questions up to this khader any questions no no sir yeah so i will give this example if you want i will type it so but your target is just up to this only what is class what is uh, customer what is public later you can understand so highlighted one are you able to understand right hmm now yes, how yes, how to saving programming saving programming save how to save the program as of now blindly remember whatever after the class after the class whatever name is take it and save with that name okay must and should dot java extension any questions up to this no right now this is the high level language basically it is called what high level high level nothing but everyone will understand high level language so here high level language now we, but mission cannot understand high level language we will convert high level language into low level language that is called compilation so we will perform compilation by using one command what is that command java c java c stands for java compiler space your dot java program name what is the dot java programming name what is the dot java programming name customer dot customer dot customer dot java java super so it will generate ha uh, it will generate customer dot class class so this is the low level language low level language that's it now low level language is available but you will give input to your mission right yes or no without without execution converting high level into low level is it useful is it useful no no right so we will give input to your mission so how to give the input to your mission by using one command called java command so here it will take dot class file name so java space whatever dot class file name is there keep up to this remove dot class that's it so what will happen it will your mission read dot class file line by line and give some response to end user up to this any doubts up to this any doubts no right so as of now we are good what is variable how to define the variable yes or no yes yes but but in the real time we will follow some rules and regulations to define the variables so now rules to define variable so i will start please observe be careful one by one i will explain so variable should start with start with letter what is this hello yeah so this is variable so variable start with which letter this variable start with which letter lower e e right e so any variable start with letter that may be any letter must should start with letter your variable clear first rule 
Now, yes, yes. variable next one should not start with digit. Digit. So here, digit means int n o is the valid or invalid? Valid or invalid? This is valid. Valid. Super. Good. Now, this one valid or invalid? Invalid. Super. I will show you practical, then you can understand. Now, I will use same code. Now observe, my variable name is, uh, my. this is the variable start with uh, digit. So here, this is not at all possible in the Java. So please observe. Now, so any change done, again, compilation required or not required? Required. Required, required right? Suppose not required. So what will happen? Please observe Java space dot class file name. It will get previous data only. Why? Because your changes not reflected so in order to reflect the latest changes again we will convert high level into low level customer dot java so please observe boss first you learn java then try to write the program why because your variable should not start with the digit clear yes sir hello yes yes sir. yes sir yeah if you want i will write here this is the real time standards now I will give example if you want. Now, can I go next rule? Yeah. Yes, Suresh. So sir. space. Yes, sir. So no, sir. Please call me Suresh. Okay. Space yes. not allowed within variable name. Huh, read it, read it. Read it. Space not allowed within space not allowed within variable name. Huh, space not allowed means int. employee number ah huh. so this is how many how many variables are there here two two, two variables. variables but you know that is the two variables but system treated as one variable only but space is not space is there right oh sorry space is there right yes sir so here even though you can write like this system does not allow space does not allow within the variable so observe here yeah again so can i compile directly or can i run it you can compile, we need to compile. Yeah. compile. compile. now observe space not allowed clear sir yeah so how to resolve this one can anyone guess? This is uh, equal to this is invalid. invalid. How to resolve? So we will we will resolve this situation by using by using special characters only. Huh? Arm percent or underscore. So here, how to resolve? This is one. One more symbol is huh? Only these two symbols only. Arm percent or this is underscore. This is a special character. Apart from that, no more special characters are allowed. Clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Any questions? If there are three variables or four variables, uh, um, huh? If there are three variables uh, in a single line, how will uh, separate them? Three way, comma, comma. I, I will show you. Okay, I understand your program. Okay, I, I will do it. Okay. So once rules done, I will explain your scenario. Okay. Okay. Yeah, remember at that time. Your name, please. Royal, Royal. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Royal. I will I will under I will explain at the end. Okay. Now okay. please observe here. Oh, sorry, sorry. So here expected. Line number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One minute. Otherwise, I will take uh, this is string. Mm. Now again, compile it. Yeah. So still employee name. 
So here, what will happen is single, under, single yeah, quotes, sir. Two variables. No, no, no. This is the string, right? Okay. String nothing but double quotes. String nothing but double quotes. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, you can use like this, sir. You can use anything. One minute. Here, I understand the problem. So here, sorry, arm percent. You are using this one only. Sorry, dollar, not arm percent. That is the mistake. Now observe. One minute. Comp one minute. Compile not done. Yes, yeah, why you have to give system dot tell. Oh, sorry, sorry. Still same symbol, right? Yeah. Now observe. Huh. So you are giving wrong variable name. Oh, yeah. Double E you are giving, sir. In the system dot out at printable, no double E. Employ. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I will I will copy paste directly otherwise. Okay. Yeah. So please observe. So space is not allowed within the variable. So how to resolve that space issue by using special characters only underscore and dollar only. Apart from that, other symbols not allowed. Clear? Okay, sir. Yeah. So here, if you want, I will note on that point as well. So here we can resolve space issue within variable by using a uh, special characters a uh, only these two only allowed apart from that nothing okay it will not allow remaining clear yes any questions clear hmm? yes. now variable should not start with the special characters except uh, except dollar comma dollar r underscore apart from these two remaining characters will not given as at the beginning of the variable name so meaning is please observe en valid or invalid invalid clear invalid so here string e name valid or invalid invalid please respond invalid yeah invalid. only valid is please observe here int now valid or invalid valid valid yeah super so string location underscore valid or invalid valid okay so meaning is finally your variable should not start with any special characters except ha uh, dollar comma underscore. underscore yeah now observe here now valid or invalid invalid okay we'll try We'll try. First, we'll try. Now observe. Now compilation required or not required? Required. Yeah, please observe. Not allowed. Okay. But, but now you will allow or not allowed? Valid. This is valid. Only dollar underscore only allowed. Okay, now allowed or not allowed? No, not allowed. Not allowed. Everyone, please respond. Not allowed, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll no, see practical. Not yeah, not allowed. How to resolve? You can use special symbols, underscore, comma, dollar only. Anything is fine. 
so now clear yes, yes sir now yes, sir. run it so these are the rules and regulations one more inter, inter uh, real time scenario is there i will explain yeah any questions up to this no, any sir. questions no sir Sorry? yeah one more rule is there these are the very important to define the rules now keywords should not used as variable names meaning is you know how to define the variables data types right yes or no yeah. as of now yes, you sir. know int comma ha huh? char comma you know this these are right yes sir so here these are our examples for keywords the keywords is pre defined reserved word given by java guys keywords should not used as variable names that is one rule and regulation now observe now in this what is the variable name char char but char is not allowed why because that is the predefined word right whenever we will give like this J mission your mission confuse you defining variable name as char already char is given by java guys so confuse is going on that's why variable name keyword should not used as variable names now observe okay clear yes sir yeah there is the one rule last rule this is very important we will follow camel case to define variable in real time this is very important notation what are the camel case you know camel 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 shape first in neck up after this down up down up down right camel shape yes or no yes sir up nothing but upper case low nothing but lower case suppose variable contains single word how many words single word then first letter from uh from the word start with lower case what is this lower case so here how many words are there how many words are there three words no 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 single word right sorry ah yeah, okay okay single word three letters ha huh, if your variable contains single word first letter should start with lower case clear yes sir yes this is the recommend not mandatory this is the recommendation okay real time suppose next one contain multiple words ah uh, then first letter from first word start with lower case ah uh, first letter from second word onwards start with mm, upper case clear so meaning is please observe here i will give so here int employee number how many words are there this is one word right yeah yes. and this is one more word if words. your variable contain multiple words first letter first word start with lower case from second word onwards first letter start with upper case this is notation clear okay sir employ name this is not mandatory this is the recommendation how many words two words okay two words. first word first employ. word first word first letter start with lower case from second word onwards first letter start with upper case that's it clear now so why can't we write name n as the capital letter here sorry here in the string employ uh -huh. name two words mm -hmm. uh, for the word second word you will start with the upper case why mm -hmm. you did not write name n capital letter no you can write but this is the you can write all the capital letters as well generally in the real time all the capital letter to represent constants okay this is the recommendation you can write it no problem okay okay yeah this is the recommendation we will follow in the real time okay so whenever we put some experience 
so real time guys easily find out whether you are fake or experienced based on this standards that's why whatever standards will use in the real time same standards i will implement in the classroom itself okay yeah any questions up to this no sir yes. so i know uh, initial days you little bit tough don't worry up to up to you got the subject i will deal multiple times okay that is my promise once our course done everyone able to write your own code now observe so babu what is the mistake every variable must should semicolon. end with semicolon that's why first initial i will use notepad later i will move slowly to editors a clips sts now customer yes yeah yeah rayal go ahead and ask you have some questions right yeah and uh, regarding the variable uh, having multiple words ha uh, sorry actually it is separated with uh, dollar symbol and uh, uh. Uh, underscore mm -hmm. uh, if you have a, a three letter word how can uh, uh, write that variable sorry three okay. words three words uh, Mm -hmm. as, a, as a variable mm -hmm. okay so i will resolve your question please observe here now mm -hmm. suppose three variables contain in a single single line three variables are there right yes sir yeah please observe now i will so that uh, royal question is suppose i want to so here employee number this is one variable right this is one more variable no no suresh i want to define both are same data type can i use like this yes now you can define comma separation now clear okay so previously you write uh, employee number na so, ah, so that is different right no. okay 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 no that single word don't use space here multiple variables right comma is there separated oh right clear now after okay. this you can give values like this okay clear clear yeah any questions no sir no. okay good question yeah any questions please go ahead and ask yeah, yeah. so today we'll cover variable and variable types also there local variable static well do i will not touch that variable types once we are good with methods then i will touch this one okay yeah go ahead and ask any questions one by one so at least right at least your idea how to define the variable variable should start with ha uh, huh, character variable should not start with digit and variable should not start with special characters except dollar comma underscore keyword should not used as variable names and space not allowed within the variable name single variable name clear yes sir 